G'day kids. Welcome back to Troy's magnificent All Aussie Cooking Adventures. Today, we're revisiting an old favorite. I'm gonna cook for you my world famous coconut cream crab curry using nothing but the freshest of produce from the mighty Swan River here in Perth. I'm gonna nip on down to the shop, get some extra bits and pieces that I need, come back, whip this meal up for you. I've got a lot of the stuff that I need at home already, but I've still got to run in and grab some um, spring onion, garlic, little things like that that I'm running short of. So we'll run in here, trip down memory lane, go grab them. Okay, shopping done. Got our groceries. I used to come to this shop with my mum, but he haven't been in here for about 15 years, but it's got absolutely everything, everything. You can imagine. So, as Arnie would say, I'll be back. Okay, so we've got our bits and pieces from the shop. We've come back home, cleaned, cleaned up our crabbies just into halves, and um, I will show you the rest of the prep. Okay, so as you can see, I've, I've cleaned the crabs. They're ready to go, the three crabs. Um, we've got some spring onion here. We're going to cut that into three centimetre battens. I probably could have used four or five um, sprigs of the spring onion, but I only used three. I don't know why. I just did. <laughs> but, all right, so here we've got some red onion we're chopping up, as well as chilli, garlic, and some ginger. So chopping up half a red onion there, combine all that into the bowl, followed by some more garlic. I think I've used four or five, four or five, yeah, five um, cloves of garlic, um, two green Thai chilies, two red Thai chilies, and two little knobs of ginger. But this is the other half of the red onion combined in the bowl. The last two chilies de-seeded, cut up, put in the bowl, and finally some ginger. Get the ginger and cut the skin off and then finally chop that up and throw that in the bowl and whoop whoop, all done. That's the prep work done. Time for a dance break. Okay, first step, grab some peanut oil, put it in the pan like I've just done. Get that to a bit of a smoke. As soon as it starts smoking, you know, you're ready to rock and roll. All right, we've got a bit of steam, a bit of smoke coming off that peanut oil now, so things are gonna get a little bit steamy. Chuck it in. Everything you just saw me chop up, chuck it all in there. Spring onion, garlic, red onion, all the chilies. Don't worry about putting I mean, the amount of chili that I put in there. The coconut cream is going to dull down that heat a bit and it's just mainly for flavour anyway, but... Just let that saute for a good two minutes. Come back to you. Before you put your crabs in, make sure you've cracked your claws so you bring your, uh, you know, your nut, your nut crackers over the um, over the claws. Just open them up a bit. Let's the flavour get in there and throw your crabs in. This is just the first batch. You can do up to ten crabs with this amount of. 
ingredients I've put in here. So once the crabs are cooked, you just take them out, put some more, one, more in. Woo! All right, so a minute or so later, turn them crabbies over. Lid off. Toss that around a bit. Three to five diced tomatoes. So I use four cans of diced tomatoes in this recipe. The, the diced tomatoes you can buy in the cans are just really good. They're good quality, saves getting tomatoes all over you, having to cut up extra anyway. You've got enough prep work to do in cleaning the crabs and cutting everything up. So if you can get away with using these diced tomatoes, which is good quality, why not? Alright, some brown sugar. About that much times two. Heaps. Garlic paste. Ginger paste. Kaffir, kaffir lime leaves. I think that's how you say it. Some sweet soy sauce. Sweet soy sauce. Pinch of sherry. Another pinch of sherry. And put some in the crabs as well. Blend it all in. Take your time. There's no rush. The crabs still need another five to seven minutes of cooking. And we're just gonna let it get to heat and they'll just simmer. But you know what? I forgot the most important, the most important item. coconut cream for the coconut cream crab curry. Be generous. Okay, so we've thrown in that. Give it a good mix up and just combine the whole lot and just, just make sure that you've mixed that cream right through. The flavour in this dish is un. Unbelievable! It is so good. I've had kids and adults tell me that is the best meal they have ever eaten. So give it a go. It is. <laughs> it is so good. But simmer away here for another seven minutes once you put the cream in, and Bob's your uncle. Okay. Seven minutes later, pull them out.
Troy's world famous coconut cream crab curry. Give it a go. Get some crabs. Hell, if you're a good enough friend, I might even uh, cook it for you. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. Have a good week, whatever the situation is. Have a good one. And remember, be good to your mum, eh? Now get ready to get messy because it is finger licking good. If you've done a good job, your plate will look like that in about half an hour. <laughs> Enjoy.